Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. And we are still clearing off my desk. I'm gonna adjust the camera, apologies. Um, so it is still clearing off my desk. I have some good stuff today. I brought back all the diamond pieces that popped up in all of our videos that week, that Diamond Julie week. <laughs> oh, my nails. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Mm. I picked zombie nails and yeah, they're not good. Okay, anyway. <laughs> It's okay, though. It was my choice, and it was a bad one. <laughs> all right, um, so I have all the diamonds. I have that gold that we talked about, and I said I was going to test before I showed you. I have everything tested, everything done, and we're going to move, and we're going to sell some jewelry. Woo! All right, if you would like to buy anything, press pause here. I'll tell you exactly what to do. And this week, probably Wednesday, I am going to be making a video that's like 10 minutes long, um, and it's going to tell you everything that's going on with my changes, what's going to be happening, some news, things that are happening, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, at the end of it, I'm going to do a little giveaway. So it'll be worth your while to watch. I hope you all watch it and just see what's up. Okay. I just realized that I have not looked at how many subscribers I have lately. And we're going to, oh my gosh, look guys. We're gonna also do a giveaway at 800 subscribers. Ooh, we're so close. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right, so um, on the gold pieces, I weighed and did all of that good stuff, tested. There were a couple that were not gold, so um, I'm glad I tested. Here we go. So the first one we have is a Figaro chain bracelet. Let's get a size on that. Actually, is it an anklet? Oh, it's an anklet, you guys. It's a nine and three quarter and it is an anklet. I was like, oh, maybe this is an anklet. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. This weighs four point, where is it? 4.36 grams. Okay. And this one is 14 K. It's beautiful. There you go. There's some markings there. 14k um sorry my phone beeped of course <laughs> here you go it's absolutely beautiful there she be let me um i i cleaned up my room a little bit so i can get to everything right now so look at me let's take out the busless bus so you can really see this baby isn't she pretty so nice okay so she's 4.36 grams she's 14k um, the scrap value comes in at 168 on this. And typically what I have heard from other sellers is they double it minimum. Okay. So I took that into consideration, but I also looked on eBay what they're selling for and they're not selling at double. So I am going to ask 200 on this $200. Okay. It's absolutely beautiful. 200. So here is number one, 200. Okay, and these gold pieces I'm selling for one of my friends, by the way. Okay, here we go. This one is 10K. It has a little boo-boo right here. Gold is really soft. Um, hard to see. You know, if you have it on, you can see a tiny bit, but it's hard to see. It is a hinged bangle. Super pretty. This side's kind of braided. This side's kind of plain. Um, the boo-boo's on the back side. Uh, let's get a size on this. This one is 10K, like I said, and this is a size seven. And it's coming in at 4.3 grams. So the melt value on this is 113. And I'm gonna ask 190 on this one, $190. It is beautiful. Please stop barking so I don't have to pause. There we go. Um, okay, this piece here, now we have some diamonds. Are you ready for diamonds? I love diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, but they're not. Dogs are, right? <laughs> All right, so this I tested. It is onyx and diamond, and this is gold filled. Uh, there you go. Very nice chain. It has a drop of eight and a half inches, and this is a vintage piece. And this one is going to be, where's my price? 35 $35. It's very, very pretty. How many people had an onyx ring like similar to this back in the day? Me, 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 me. 
<laughs> I think it's down in my jewelry box still because Jeff gave it to me a million years ago. Oh, guess what today is, guys? It's my anniversary. 24 years today. Holy guacamole. Okay, here we go. Do you remember this piece? I showed it and then it said diamonds. And I tested it. And what does it say right here? I'm curious. Oh, yeah, I knew it said that, actually. Yeah. So this one is Carizia Spa. Okay. Um, it's also marked Italy. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's sterling. So, so pretty. Am I upside down? No, I'm right. And those are itty bitty little diamonds in there. You see them? Cute. Little diamond chips. Okay, this one's going to be 45 $45, and it is sterling. $45. Typically, you wouldn't find diamonds in something that wasn't precious metal. Okay, sorry. Hold on. It's falling off. There we go. All right, and another diamond piece you guys found with me. This one is diamond and sterling also. See them all right there? Those are a little bit bigger than the last one. Here's the back. It is a cute little pendant. There is a marking there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe shoes. Is, is it like a dollar sign looking thing? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, little sterling and diamond pendant. This one's going to be 40, 40. <laughs> oh, the weird voice. Guys, I have to cough again. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm having problems with allergies. Hopefully that goes away now. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, this one is diamond and sterling, and this might be 14K. I, I'm not really sure, honestly. No, I think it's a Vermeil on top. I didn't, yeah, it's a Vermeil. Um, see the back. I didn't try to um, test that. Uh, here we go. So you see all the little diamonds, little diamond chips, and then a little bit, a little bit bigger chip on the outside. This is a really, really beautiful pendant, says mom, obviously. And this one's gonna be 50, five zero. All righty. And we have a diamond tennis style bracelet. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, those are diamonds. You wanna see one of them read? You saw all the other ones read in previous videos. Let's, let's look at, this one you did not, so let's. Let's see if I can do this without beeping. Sorry to all the puppers out there, especially you, Sophie. I'm trying not to beep for you. Okay, it is diamond, do you see it? Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. So diamond and vermeil, very pretty bracelet. There you go. It's very nice. Let me give you an up close. If you wanted to shine it up, you definitely could. Um, this one is a seven inch bracelet. And did I price this one? Yes, I did. This one is going to be 40, four zero. Okay. Now this one you've seen before, but it ended up being a catch and release. Uh, those are diamonds in there. I cleaned it up a little bit. It was um, needed polishing. There's still some darkness in there. Uh, if you wanted to clean it more, you could. It is very, very pretty. Ignore my eczema. It's gonna be a rough year if I'm already getting eczema. Um, here's the inside. Super shiny. Okay. Ooh, that's fun. Look at my ring has markings on the back. I love it. 925. Okay, let me get you a length on this baby. This one's a six and three quarter, you guys. And this one's gonna be 50, five zero. Okay, a couple more pieces. Two more pieces of diamonds and then we are moving on. <laughs> I was just talking to my friend Mark who has autism. I've known him since um, I was a camp counselor for him, summer camp, back in, I think it was 1990. So yeah, we've kept in touch all these years. He's a sweetheart. Um, he's just a couple of years younger than me. This is so pretty, isn't it, you guys? So, so, oh, I got marker on me. So, so pretty. I think this is beautiful. 
there she is. Gorgeous. And there's the marking. Um, this one, and that's a diamond in the center, you guys. I'm going to ask 50 for this one. It is stunning. Oh, and there's diamonds on the end of each end of the cross. Okay, $50. So, Mark is um, religious, goes to, you know, does his church thing every Sunday. Um, there's actually a church camp that we met at. Anyway, um, so he doesn't like to take the Lord's name in vain, of course. So he says to me today, block your ears, mom. He says to me today, I like to say in the name of the almighty Chrysler. <laughs> Guys, I burst out laughing. I was just on the phone with him before I filmed. He, it's it's so funny because A, he's religious and doesn't want to say, take the name, Lord's name in vain. And B, um, he, he loves cars. So <laughs> it just all like goes together. My mom would say, now everybody knows what you meant, so it's just as bad. Right, mom? <laughs> All right, so this is diamond and sterling. That last cross was sterling also. Aren't they cute? Little baguettes in there, it kind of looks like. Channel set. It's a very, very pretty ring. Let's see what size it is. It's coming in at six and three quarter. And I'm gonna ask 60, six zero. All right. So I've got my ring on. I didn't wear a really crazy one because I had to meet with a boring job customer this morning. But look, it's glass. Isn't that cool? I really like it. Sterling and glass on that one. Okay. All right. I on I did all my homework. I'm like so proud of myself, you guys. I untangled this baby. This baby was from Wicked Cheap Sterling Silver. So it's a faux pearl and 14K of Vermeil over Sterling. This is a new piece, okay? New, new, new. So total length, including the entire extender, is 19 inches. And I'll show you the extender so you can see. Do -do. We have some adjustments. Whoops, wrong end, Julie. So you have uh, this end here, there, there, and that's it. And this um, company name is Genie, I believe is how you pronounce it. J-E-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Um, honestly, guys, I have a hard time with Genie and Jean. And I just never know how to pronounce those names. And I apologize if it's your name. I just have a hard time. I never know which is which. So here we go. Gorgeous. This one's going to be $7. I'm just looking at something. I thought I saw some CZs, but nope. Okay, so $7, why am I putting this away? I don't usually make you watch me do that, you guys. Sorry. $7 on that one. Okay, we cleared out a basket, woo! Okay, so this one is not gold, and it is another hinged bangle with some etching. It is very beautiful. It is a seven and a half or so. There we go. And this one, <coughs> guys, I'm sorry. <coughs> Apologies. I'm so sorry. Um, this one is going to be $10. $10. Okay. And then we have this ring. And I just felt something funny. Nope. I think a little bit of gold tone. It flaked off right there. Yep. There it is. Okay. These are CZs. I tested them. It beautiful setting. And it, this one's a size eight. And I'm gonna ask 10 for this one also. It's beautiful, it's in wonderful shape. And then we have this baby, gold tone. Um, is this one marked at all? Nope. Um, and let me, these were not CZs. Uh, this one's coming in a size nine. This would be a great thumb ring for those that could fit a nine on their thumb. I cannot. <laughs> All right, this one, <laughs> I almost had to keep it. <laughs> All right, this one is going to be six, six dollars. Okay. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a moment, but we are back and ready. Here we go. I have a Ross Simons ring. This one is not 925. I tested it. It is not, it is not Vermeer. I didn't know that Ross Simons didn't do, um, I didn't know that Ross Simons 
did non-precious metal. So maybe that's even a bad stamp. So it's a nine and a half, and this one's gonna be six dollars. Oh boy, my numbers are way out of whack, huh? Okay, there's a reason for that. Don't worry about it, we'll fix it. Just this one's gonna be out of order. <laughs> okay, here we go. Numbers going back the way they should be. All right, we have this piece here. This is not sterling, you guys. It is stamped 925, but it is a Fibber McGee. It is silver tone or maybe an alpaca kind of sterling, nickel silver. Uh, this beautiful geode pendant is going to be $5. Okay. And then we have a faux pearl and silver tone bracelet. This bracelet, I believe, is seven inches. Let's double check. It's six and a half, you guys, six and a half inches. And this one is going to be, uh, let's go $5. Next, we have this really cool glass ring, glass like mine's glass here. This is silver tone, not sterling. It is a size six and a half. And this one is going to be, I'm gonna ask $8 for that one. It's in great shape, $8. Okay, we have this baby. It looks like amethyst, but it is not. And it's in silver tone. It is acrylic. Um, this one is a size seven. And it is going to be $8 also. Okay. Um, Uh-oh. What was on there? I um, Sorry, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what happened. I lost a piece of jewelry. Bryn probably stole it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have this saddle bring. Look at it. See why it's called the saddle? Yeah. Uh-huh. It was kind of like my space bags problem. Yeah, I didn't know why it was called a saddle ring. Yeah, that's why. Because <laughs> it looks like a saddle. Oh, Nathan is going to ask me after, what's your space bag problem? And I don't want to tell him because he's going to make fun of me. All right, it's an eight and a quarter. Um, let's see if these little guys are anything. Probably not because it's silver tone, but let's see. They're glass, you guys. Super pretty. It's like black stones. Uh, let's do this one for $8 also. $8. I don't know how I lost this piece of jewelry. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Okay, put that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I have the bag, guys. I don't know where the jewelry went. Okay, here we go. Number 20. This one, it's a honka honka chonka chonka. Silver tone and some brass. You have a little bit of patina on the brass. That it, I would say that is not um, verdigris. That's more brass patina. This one's coming in at seven and three quarter. This one's going to be $8. It's in great shape. $8. And we have these guys. They are gunmetal tone. The bead on the bottom is glass, and it looks like maybe some shell pieces. Here we go. Oop. Here we go. Dyed shell. Let's do. Let's do four dollars on these. Four dollars. All right. Now our numbers are gonna be good. I had a little problem, guys. That's why I really paused. I had a little issue. I had to like redo a little bit of stuff, but that's okay. All right, we have this bracelet. This is Verme. It is sterling. It is gold over sterling. These are CZs. It is super, super, super pretty. Gorgeous. And I am going to ask, I'm going to ask, how much am I going to ask, guys? Uh, 30. $30 on that. Okay, here we go. We're in Ringville. Okay, this is silver tone, has some copper showing through, not in the greatest condition, but it is pretty. Marcosites, excuse me, marcosites, and probably not amethyst, but let's just look just in case. They're glass, you guys, and we have some copper showing through on the setting around the glass pieces. Okay, so let's put it on. Um, you can't see wear on the top besides the prongs. It is a size seven and a half. I am just going to ask, um, let's just go five bucks, five dollars. 
I think it still has life in it. If you hear Nate packing boxes, we're trying to do double duty in here today because we want you guys to get your stuff, right? <laughs> Silvertone bangle it has some leaf etching on there or what do you call it when it's this, guys? Do you call it etching or stamping? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it is marked. It is marked Mexico Sterling, but it is not Sterling. It's a faker. Fibber McGee. Um, it is eight inches. And um, this is it, an alpaca it is most likely what it is, okay? Does it even say? No, it says Sterling in there. Okay, so this one is going to be $12, $12. So alpaca, I know I've said it before, it's just a different alloy, um, does not have real silver in it, but it's an alloy that you can polish. So if you wanted to get that shiny, you could. Okay. Here we go. We have like a little river rock or pebble that someone has wire wrapped. Silver tone. Really cool. Little pendant. Let's do $3. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is pretty. Look at that. Woo. All right. So silver tone. Let's see if those are glass or acrylic. Guess what? They are CZs and they are shiny and gorgeous. This one is a size seven. And let's just do, we'll go $5. $5. I wonder if we're gonna make it through this basket or more than this basket today. We'll see. There's a lot in it. Ooh, ooh, guys. <gasps> this is nice. Ooh, this is cool, you guys. So this is definitely vintage. Um, I know where I bought this. I bought this from a lady that was selling off her vintage collection. Um, okay, I would say that there's some wear around this piece here. Do you see there's like brass missing over here? I don't think it looks terrible in person, just so you know. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that, but it's there. And do you see that it's two dragons? has like an Asian feel. I think that might just be acrylic, but let's just, um, yeah, I think that's just acrylic, you guys. And it looks like it's carved to look like jade, carved flowers, it's so cool. All right, this is three inches. Um, and I, I think it's probably brass. I'm not positive, or brass tone. Let's ask, hmm. I'm gonna ask 10 for it, you guys. I think it's a nice piece, $10. And you'll tell me what you think, whether or not you buy it. <laughs> All right, we have another one of those adjustable bracelets. I think I saw this called a lariat bracelet, which would make sense, right? Because that's what a lariat necklace looks like. Silver tone, very cool, nice condition. I would say near perfect condition. Uh, let's go. Seven, seven dollars on that one. Alrighty, okay, we have another uh, tennis style bracelet. This one is also marked Raw Simons. Okay, so I guess he does just do regular gold tone stuff. I didn't realize. Um, should we see, are those, let's just see for fun, because you know we found all those diamonds that week, you guys, and now I'm obsessed with diamonds, right? <laughs> Let's see, there shouldn't be diamonds in gold tone, of course. Guys, they're diamonds. They're coming up diamonds. I wonder if this one snuck by me and this one might be sterling. Let's see where it's marked, curious. Okay, Ross Simons 925 China. Okay, well we, let me just, let's do it again and I want you to see and you know what it'll do? I'll test this tonight for tomorrow's video. How's that? Then we don't have to test on video. Do you see it? Diamonds. Ba-bam. <laughs> it's like emerald. Okay, I'm gonna put this up here and I'm gonna retest that just in case, you know, accidents happen. It doesn't hurt to retest. Acid's cheap. Okay, this one has some wear. Has like pitting. You know, you can kind of feel it. It's not horrendous, but it's there. Marcosites, really cool. This is a size eight and three quarter. And that's just five bucks. 
my books. A lot of the stuff in this basket was supposed to be sterling. And some of it, just I wanted to double check better off knowing. Um, so it's a little disappointing, but that's all right. I mean, there's, there's still great pieces. Just, okay, I'm trying to show this. And <laughs> my guess is this is some kind of nickel silver, you guys. It's a six and a half. It is super pretty. Um, that could definitely be adjusted, I would think. The opening here is an inch and a quarter. Uh, let's go, I'm gonna go 10 on that one, okay? $10. If you're one of my OGs, you'll remember I bought all this jewelry from a lady who was selling her vintage collection. And a lot of the sterling, well, it's not sterling that we're getting through was from her. So that's what I was talking about. All right, oh, you guys, look what mama wrote on the bag. Seat belts. <laughs> She's right, look, seat belts. <laughs> uh, this is a size seven, it is silver tone. It is marked 925 FAS, but it is a fiber. <laughs> size seven, let's go, hmm, $8. Looks like we have a little bit, hmm, is that a little bit of tarnish? Let's just go $3. And if you wanna mess with it, you can mess with it, how's that? All right, next. Okay, we have a silver tone butterfly. Uh, he does have some tarnish, like darkening spots. It is a brooch. It is all wire. Someone has made that out of wire. It's so amazing. Sometimes these are sterling, guys, so make sure you check. This one is not. This is silver tone. Let's go. Let me point out some of the darkening so you can see. That is darkening right there. You see it in a little bit spaced here. Let's just go $3. Definitely has life left, you guys. I think that one you would get and be like, oh, this is better than she said. Well, that's what I hope with everything, but. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is a twofer. We have, this is silver tone. We have this cool stone here, some kind of jasper, I would guess. And we have unikite and probably a red jasper. Those are my guesses. Unikite, I'm pretty sure. It's always this green and pink. It's a really cool stone. It's weird for those colors to be together in nature, isn't it? I, I always think that. Um, okay. Uh, it is marked. Oh, it's Premier Designs, you guys. It is Premier Designs. Very nice. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go eight. Eight dollars. Premier De Designs makes nice jewelry. I think. It's always heavy duty, like that feels nice. You can feel the weight of it. Hubs and I were talking about, um, what was he looking at? And he said, oh, this is nice, it's got good weight. And I'm like, I always say that. Oh no, it wasn't that. Okay, sorry, pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, we have this piece. This does not feel cold to the touch. It is vintage, possibly antique, I'm not sure. Um. But there it is, it's really a cool little piece. Let's go, hmm, five, five dollars. He bought a hinge and he's like, I got it in and it's so not heavy duty, it's so like tinny. And I'm like, don't you wish you could feel things that you're buying online? And I'm like, I always say that to my peeps, like this feels really good. All right, you guys, this is not sterling, but it is marked. Here she is, I, you know, I'm just checking. I'm checking clear stones, guys. I'm just doing it. Are you joking me, you guys? Look at. I am not even kidding. Look at this. Are you ready? I did. You guys are calling me Diamond Julie. I think it, I am. Oh, it didn't go that high, but I did fall off. So hold on. Let's go again. When we hit diamond, I feel like I should test a couple times. <laughs> you think so? I think so. All right, I slipped again. All right, sorry, one more time. Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> All right, let me find one that's a really good one that I'm not gonna slip. Are you kidding me? <sighs> and I beeped, poor Sophie. Sorry, Sophie. Okay, so this is aggravating me because now could it be white sapphire? Totally. So let's, um, I think there's a white sapphire. <laughs> I'm saying it like totally. Yeah, 
They're diamonds. Okay. Let's try one more time. Are you bored? <laughs> password. Feel free to password. All right. One more time. We're going to hit this stone here. <laughs> I lied. I fell off. <laughs> diamonds okay I feel like it's diamond let's retest that one too I'll do it overnight for you and I'll give you a price in, uh tomorrow and this one says retail oh I already did I retested this okay so this is gold tone with some beautiful red stones they are garnets you guys but it is gold tone okay I tested it uh there is silver showing through so garnet but with wear, okay? Let's see what size it is. Coming in at seven and a quarter. I think it still has life in it. You don't have wear on the top of the prongs, which is nice, do you? No, I don't see any, but you do up this side. So up to you guys, $3. <laughs> up to you guys if you like it or not. Okay, what is this? This one is also marked Ross Simons. There it is. That R right there here is Ross Simons and CZ925 China. Um, but this one did not test as sterling. So we're going to retest that one too just in case. But we did have a ring today that was not sterling and marked that. So maybe the Ross Simon stamp is also one that is faked. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, so silver tone, super shiny and pretty. Uh, three stones. Are they glass? Let's see. They are glass, you guys. This one is coming in at a size nine and a quarter. Oh, sorry. Come back, please. Uh, great condition on this, $5. Looks like it's marked China inside the band, I think I saw. Okay. These are silver tone with like some faux soda light or something. Let me show you up close. Yeah, these have some wear, um, some pitting. Let's just do a dollar on these. $1. Those stones might have been losing color. I'm not positive on that. They're only a dollar because I would have put them in craft. There you go. All right. What are these? Oh, these are cute. Check them out. Do I say that every time I have an earring like this style? I think I do. I'm like, oh, I like that. <laughs> Silver tone. If you do not like heavy earrings, do not buy these. They are not super heavy, but they have weight. I don't like any weight on my ears, so... These I would personally not wear, but they're not too heavy for someone who doesn't mind. I, I'm honestly paranoid about ripping my ear, ear um, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a piercing hole. There we go. Um, I don't know why. I've been like that since I was young. It just wigs me out that that could happen. <laughs> it's fine. If your hole is like that, it's no problem. I'm, I'm not wigged out about you. It's me. <laughs> Um, okay, these are going to be $5. Now that I went off on a tangent, you know those things, like somebody tells you like they hurt their finger or something and then you're in the corner going, oh, gosh, like they're telling a story, like that's how I feel. <laughs> All right, you guys, this guy has wear. It is gold tone. Yeah, got a lot of wear right there. Let's see if these are anything we need to know about. Nope, they're glass, you guys. This is a size seven. I'm just gonna do three bucks. Um, here we go. We got a lot of wear on this baby. A lot of wear. It's like an XO bracelet with a lot of wear. Let's do, um, how long is this? It's six and three quarter inches. Let's just do a dollar. I think Goodwill sold me that as if it were sterling because it is marked sterling, but it is a fibber. That's a bummer. I didn't catch that one. I would have told them, hey, not sterling. Give me money back on that one. But I didn't catch it. 
All right, here we go. We have a, probably an alpaca bracelet with some cool inlay shell and something else. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a cool little bracelet. Here's how it opens. You press down. Cool. All right, let me get a size on it for you. Coming in at a seven, you guys, and this one's going to be $10. This is probably alpaca. Um, it should shine up for you. $7. Nathan's waiting to use the tape gun over there. <laughs> the poor kid. He's like, he's not a kid anymore, by the way. He's 26, but he's a kid to me. Um, okay, this little guy that is cute. I can't even show it to you guys. My nails are in the way. Little itty bitty, like teardrop kind of shape, faceted. So cute. How about a dollar? Somebody love that. Okay. Almost done with this basket. Here we go. I don't know what those are. Some kind of faux stone, maybe a dyed howlite. Um, this is like an antique gold tone, I would call this. Yeah, maybe with a little bit of wear, but it, it's like boho-ish feel. It's a size seven and a half, and this one is going to be, let's go six dollars. Six dollars on that one. Okay. What is this one? Oh, guys, look, black tone. That is cool. There we go. A lot of people are liking this nowadays. Uh-oh, we got a missing stone. That's a bummer. Bummer. I don't think that's cold to the touch. Let me see. Interesting. Hold on one moment, please. Glass, you guys. Okay, so there is some wear along here and we are missing a stone. Up, oh, wear right there, wear right there. Okay, she's gonna go for a dollar. Uh, size seven and three quarter, just a dollar. Really cool. You know what I do when there's black missing on things like, like that? Sharpie. <laughs> I do. It's so bad. Part of my like stove hood, it must have gotten worn off. Not my hood, my, um, the top of my stove. And it must have gotten worn off from like cleaning or something. I use something too abrasive. Yeah. So I sharpie it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> All right, we have a pair of rings. Hmm. I okay, anyway. Pair of rings, not sterling, size eight and a quarter. I'm going to sell them together. Uh, there's rose gold tone and silver tone, and these are going to be five bucks. Five dollars on the pair. On the pair over there. All right, what is this? This looks fun. And then there's a ring in there that's like calling my name. Okay, we have this symbol, which I can't remember what that is. Uh, size seven. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, blinging, a blinging, a blinging. That's an amethyst, you guys, amethyst. Um, I think this one is marked 925, but it is not. Guys, I got something at home goes and I forgot to tell you about it and it's really, really cool. And I don't know how I can show you, but I want to. Maybe I'll try. <laughs> All right, size seven. This one's gonna be $8. Okay, I decided that my filming area is gonna be bling, right? I sell jewelry. It should be blinged, bling, bling, bling up. So on that note, <laughs> All right, we have this one. Super cool, cool setting. I like it. Um, it is not sterling. Um, I'm not sure what it says in there. It is a size six and a half. Um, and let's see if that's anything we need to know about. It's glass, you guys. This one's gonna be $8. That's in really good condition. Really good condition. All right, lastly, we have a bracelet. Is Brynn up here? Oh, I can smell her. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy, Bryn, I think you might need to go outside. Oh my Nelly. Whew. I know you guys have dogs and they do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. This is cute. Kind of reminds me of a, like a ball bead bracelet, right? I don't know what those little things are in between. It's really cool. Let's get a length on this. Eight and a half inches. And just going to be $3. Holy moly. I hope she doesn't do that again. I think she burned my nostril hairs. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay, guys. We've got about five minutes left. We'll get into this other jewelry over here. Like I said, we're just cleaning my desk off. So never know what's coming out. And there could be things even that like I wanted to put in craft and it just ended up on my desk. So that could happen too. Ooh, cute. Okay, we have faux pearl and this gorgeous box clasp. Very nice condition. This is in great condition, you guys. Excellent condition. You could wear it so the clasp is here. Look how pretty. So pretty. Let me, I'm trying to see if there's a mark on here. This should be marked. Oh, it is. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Look what's in here. Carolee. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I saw an O and an E, and that's all I could make out. And I'm like, I knew it was Monet. No, it's not Julie. It's Carol Lee, <laughs> which is also just great. <laughs> um, it is kind of like a twisted faux pearl necklace. I'll give you a total length since this one's not hard to open. It is coming in at 16 inch total length, you guys. And um, this is like perfect. I'm going to ask 10 for this, $10. Oh, Bryn took her stinky butt and headed for the hills. Thank goodness. My goodness. All right, what have we got here? Oh, we have a J. Crew piece. Okay, here we go. Badoop. J. Crew, gorgeous in their bronzy um, tone. There's a little bit of wear right here. Um, anywhere else? I don't see any. Let's look at the back. No, overall in pretty good condition. Uh, including the entire extender, we have an eight and a half inch drop. This one's going to be $10, you guys. $10. In case you didn't hear me, $10. Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Mama came to help um, pull jewelry yesterday because Nate knew he wasn't going to have a lot of time today. And um, you guys, she was like, this would be a good ring. This would be a good ring. I'm like, oh, she's got ring fever just like me. These are cute, you guys. All acrylic um, marked West Germany. There you go. Somewhere on the back. Not terrible. These are going to be, I'm going to go $6, please. $6. Okay, this is a modern piece. That was a vintage piece, obviously. And you have some black metal mesh and some gold tone. Kind of almost like a matte gold tone. That is from manufacturing. I don't believe that's a flaw. And there's the black. This is in great condition. So using some of the extender, you're at a seven and a half inch drop and you have this much extender left uh let's do six dollars on that one okay we have another vintage piece look at we're going modern vintage modern vintage <laughs> all right oh look we got a little acrylic black and white cameo this would need a bail to be worn i wouldn't be surprised if this is no, maybe not. I was going to say gold filled, but I don't think it is. She's really pretty. She's got some judge on her. She needs to be cleaned. Yeah, she needs to be cleaned. All right, she is going to be... Uh, I'm going to ask eight for her. I think she's pretty cool. Eight dollars. Uh-oh, there we go. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait till you guys see him. Didn't you guys see this already? I feel like you saw this. Maybe some jewelry made it in here that wasn't supposed to. This is marked WM Spear 1998 
an ROE. It is a humpback whale. No, maybe it's a blue whale. It's a blue whale, I mean. Cute. Okay, this is going to be $9. I based that on what they're doing on eBay. $9. That bag's numbered. I feel like you've seen the whale. I feel like you have seen him. So you might have. Sorry. Uh, okay, we have a faux pearl and black acrylic bead necklace. Let's do a little drive-by. You'll see how long it is. Black acrylic bead, gray faux pearl, and like an ivory faux pearl. Let's do five dollars. Okay. We have a J. Crew piece. Like, did you see this piece, guys? I think you did. What is going on? I don't know. There might be a couple pieces you've seen. I apologize. This has an 8 inch drop plus the extend extender. Uh, this one's going to be 15. This one is in perfect condition and it's more of a brighter gold tone. J. Crew. Is it J. Crew? It must be, right? No. Uh, yeah, J. Crew. I just wanted to make sure. It didn't say it on my cheat sheet, so I got nervous. And sometimes other manufacturers do make necklaces like that. Like Stella and Dot tricks me sometimes. Um, yeah, you definitely have seen some of this. Like, I know you saw this. This is the Art Nouveau stick pin. It's so pretty. This is a pansy. Um, I did a little bit... It is 14 karat gold. Um, so if they have a pearl in the center, they were going for about 195. If they had a diamond in the center, they were listed anywhere from 225 to 525. And it's 0.77 grams. And I was asking 100, but then it went to clearance. So I'll keep it at 80 in case anybody's interested in it now. $80, super pretty. Okay, yeah, you've seen that. Okay, let's try to get something you haven't seen. How's that? I don't think you've seen this. Oh, whoops, I'm supposed to be ending. Yes, you've seen these. What is going on here? All right, um, I'm just going to show them quick. And then these are sterling. They are sterling. And I believe that was amethyst. Yes, amethyst and acrylic. And they are earrings. And they are marked right there. Um, there you go. Uh, let's do these for $10. Okay. $10. I'm sorry that you saw some pieces. I'll go through there and make sure that that doesn't happen again tomorrow. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you tomorrow.